Hi. This is a demo of my uh, current interest at the moment. It's basically Logic Audio version 8. It's an express version as well, so it's not the full program, but nevertheless, it does the purpose. And uh, at the moment, <coughs> I'm experimenting on the environment page. We have a simple track here. Basically, it's a bass, a drum, and a pad. And if we play it. Simple loop. Now, I had this idea of using the environment to program something on the pad so I can uh, warp the EQ and change it. Now, if you're familiar with uh, Logic, not all of it looks um, fully automated. There's things you can do to make it automate, and that is to go into the automation, and if I use this button here, <coughs> I can see all these effects I can affect using timeline. Um, here's the corresponding effects as well. Now <coughs> I can go into the channel EQ and change each parameter but it's long and boring to do that. I thought it would be better if instead I go into the env environment. You can get to it by <coughs> pulling down the window menu and clicking on environment. Like so. Now, if I wanted to change something like the channel EQ, in this case, um, I've selected this already. Bear in mind, it comes up selected on this window in the environment. Now, if I go into the channel EQ, I wanted to basically affect the lower and upper shell and to do that it is just to move this parameter here and same here now I need to actually use these numbers here to affect a fader and we need to address the fader by a way of transformer I've uh, prepared the environment and you can see the fader goes into two transformers, the upper and lower, and into the actual sequencer. Um, this third one deals with automation. So if I wanted to affect the lower shell, it would be number 8, 1, and this is the value going up and down for, for the whole range. Now, if I wanted to, I could program the computer through the, the arrange window. That could be very slow and laborious. So I thought I could do both parameters all at once using the environment. Uh, if we monitor that, 8 and 1, and the high shelf, 8 and 29, you can go into our setup and set the transformers so they basically work addressing to 8 and 1 and 8 29. To do that, go into one of the <coughs> transformers, double clicking the icon here, and uh, leave the top line alone, and then press pull down, fix, fader, 
and then for the channel fix to channel 8 and for the data byte which is the address for the lower shelf I think it's number 1 same here for the high shelf EQ it's <coughs> leaving top line alone fix fader fix 8 and data bytes fix 29 which is the address for this and that's it and also if you wanted to automate this fader um, which feeds data in and as you, as you see uh, there's no function there because basically the transformer doesn't see it as data at the moment um, basically you go and make a transformer leave both lines alone but on the pull down menu of the mode you just go from here to down here and that's it and all of these leads goes into the sequence of input simple as like that and if, if we uh, start from the original range window play Fader. Okay. Um, bear in mind <coughs> when you record, you arm the track as is. And then you can move your fader control, which would be basically pressing the record button. Now, let's uh, try this out. recorded the track and it's playing out now and the information is here if we wanted to double click on here and see the information into hyperjaw it'll come out here there you go. it's up to you to uh, draw in the actual fine lines but um, I prefer the analog adjustments from the fader There you go, that's how you actually work the automation from the environment. Uh, this is My Gadget Life and you're welcome to it.